Amen. Would you follow come and bring to us the word of God this afternoon? So stand up please. Magandang hapon po sa bawat isa. Hindi na rin po ako magpapakatagal ngayon pong hapon na ito. So Rodi Naomi, kilala niyo na po ako at uh, hindi na po ako magpapakahaba-haba po po ngayong hapon na ito. If you have Bibles, I hope you have Bibles. Amen. Uh, pakibuksan po yung Biblia po ninyo sa Exodus chapter number 3. Familiar story about Moses. Uh, I think ito rin po yung naging preaching ko last, uh, naging topic ko, uh, text ko last time. Last time I preached, but I, I, I saw something here na kahit nung last night pa po at nung mga nakaraan pa, I, I try to uh, again uh, meditate it and try to uh, uh, recall everything and nawa maging pagpapala po sa bawat isa po sa atin. Uh, basahin po natin sa chapter 3 verse 7 to 14 then we will jump to uh, chapter 4 verse 10 to 12 for the sake of time ano po chapter 3 verse 7 to 14 kung nandiyan na po kayo say aloud amen, amen. tayo po natin yung iba alright kung nandiyan na po kayo ulit say aloud amen Amen. Basahin po natin responsibly. I will read verse 7, you read verse 8, hanggang makarating po sa 14. Then we will jump to chapter 4, verse 10 to 12. The Bible says in verse number 7, the Bible, uh, ito po sabi ng Biblia, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Verse 9, Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptian oppressed them. And Moses said unto God, Who am I, that I should go unto Pharaoh, that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am, hath sent me unto you. Chapter 4, verse number 10 to 12. Let's jump. Uh, 10, verse 12. Babasahin ko na lamang po in verse 10. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, uh, neither heretofore nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or seeing, or the blind, have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. Tayo po'y saglit na manalangin. Let's pray. Dear Father, salamat po sa pagkakataon pong ito na pinagkalam niyo po sa akin. It's a great honor and privilege always na papagkatiwalaan po sa likod ng pulpito pong ito. Hindi ko po ito eh, take lightly and you know what's in my heart right now, Panginoong Diyos, I, I have this thing, I have this hard feelings, uh, seeing, not seeing my, my loved ones to be, to pr be present in this uh, Sunday afternoon, but uh, Lord, alam po namin na kayo po ang uh, nag ng lahat ng bagay at kalooban nyo ang nasusunod parati sa lahat ng pagkakataon. But I pray may these things not uh, hinder me to preach your word in the best that I can by your grace, O God. Help me this afternoon. I beg you, O God, give me the right words to say. Give me wisdom, please. Send the power in this time. At kayo po ang manguna, mangusap sa puso ng bawat isang narito upang maunawaan po namin ang mensahe na ipapaabot niyo po sa amin ngayon pong hapon na ito. Salamat po ng marami. Again, forgive us for us since all this I ask. In the most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. You may be seated. Thank you for standing. At sa oras pong ito, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, as I start kanina, I, I got this mixed motions dahil po uh, matagal ko pinag-pray and tinayming ko rin na Father's Day na nawa, nandiyan yung father ko and uh, I, I, I say some, some appreciation words to him. At uh, ako'y nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon dahil isa din po siya sa ginamit ng Diyos why I'm here in church, why I'm I, I, I press, I press uh, my, my career here at uh, nagpatuloy sa biyaya po ng Panginoon dahil nung time na ako po ay nagsuko ng buhay sa Panginoon, sinabi ko sa nanay ko, ayaw ng nanay ko, pero siya ang sinabi niya sa akin, kung anong decision mo, panindigan mo. Yun yung isa sa mga bagay, dahilan. Lagi kong iniisip, pagbabalik ako sa bahay, magkukwit ako, ay paano na lang yung 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 ginawa kong desisyon sa Panginoon. Also, uh, right, uh, right uh, at my back, my pastor became my second uh, parent. Also, ma'am Pam, uh, such a blessing for me and uh, guided me throughout this journey na ngayon sa biyaya po ng Diyos ay ginagamit po ng Panginoon. Um, ngayon po sa oras pong ito, I want to preach a very simple, yet I believe... Uh, a message na uh, magiging uh, makukot po natin lahat ito, simply, ito lang po yung mensahe ko. At the time Moses ay tinawag po ng Panginoon. Alam naman po natin this the, the story about the burning bush. Yung bush na umaapoy and uh, Moses was amazed by that. And sabi ng Panginoon, ako... Na ako ito, lumapit ka dyan, pumasok ka dyan, because that place is a holy place that time. And kinausap ng Panginoon si Moses, Moses has this hesitation in his heart, na sabi niya sa Panginoon, talaga bang gagamitin niyo ako, O Diyos? Talaga bang kaya niyo po akong gamitin? But God has, conf- uh, has trust sa kanya pong ginagawa at alam niya yung ginagawa niya because he is he is God he is Lord he is uh, uh, higher than our ways and yung may naiisip ng Diyos ay hindi po natin pwedeng pantayan that's why he he chose Moses to be one of his servant at gamitin niya dakila sa gawain po ng Panginoon and dito po makita natin yung 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 reason out pag reason out ni Moses pag 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 uh, pag-aalanganin niya po na gamitin ng Panginoon sa gawain na uh, keso hindi ako magaling magsalita keso uh, matigas yung I am not eloquent in speech but dito po makita natin God is in control ang Diyos ang bahala sa mga tinawag niya para maglingkod sa gawain niya That's why my message this afternoon is this. God can use you. God can use you. You can revise my title and make it more personal and make it God can use me. God can use me. Ngayon pong hapon po na ito, anumang bagay, anumang pong naglalaro sa ating isipan, not to be used of God. Andito na po ang halimbawa sa salita ng Diyos. Na each and every one of us can be used of God. Moses was just a man, not an eloquent one, not a, a ideal one, and not a qualified for himself. But God used him greatly throughout his life, throughout his history, dito po sa salita ng Diyos. At pinapangaral po natin yan sa ating mga kabataan. And they know Moses. They know his victory. They know his accomplishments. At nakita natin na maging hamon po ito sa bawat isa sa atin ngayon pong hapon na ito. That kung kahit sino man po tayo, whoever we are, wherever we came from, kaya tayong gamitin ng Diyos. And again, I want to encourage you, God can use you. God can use you. I have three simple points ngayon pong hapon na ito and I'm done. Number one, makita po natin dito yung excuses. Excuses we need to surrender. Moses has this excuse from God na, Panginoon, ako ba talaga? 
Hindi po ako magaling magsalita. He has this ability issue. Not only that, he has also this background issue. Remember, Moses came from the Egyptian. Although he is not an Egyptian kasi pinalaki lang po siya, inadapt po siya nung anak ni Pero. Alam nyo naman po yung istorya para hindi na tayo umaba dito. Pinaagos siya doon sa river at pinulot siya ng anak ni Pero. Uh, uh, yung kamag-anak niya rin, sister niya yata yun, pinisenta doon sa anak ni Pero. And si, si, si uh, Pero's daughter, sabi niya, ang cute-cute naman ito, ang punay natin. And then, Dinala siya doon sa bahay ni Pero at doon sa bahay ni Pero, pinalaki siya doon, pinaruga siya doon, pinag-aaral siya doon. And then yung siya po'y lumaki, uh, nandun na yung conscience, nandun na yung conviction in his heart na hindi ako para dito. Nung nakita niya, pinat, uh, pinagmamalupitan yung mga Israelites, he was so hurt na sabi niya at nagawa niyang uh, makagawa ng masama, napatay niya yung Egypto. And he has this background, magulo yung background po niya for, for himself not to be used of God. And also yung ability issue, hindi ako magaling, hindi ako mahusay, hindi ako uh, magaling magsalita. Ako ba talaga, o oh Diyos, ang gagamitin niyo para maging representante ninyo kay Pero for him, paalisin. Sa tingin niyo, maniniwala sa akin yun. He has these things in his heart and mind. Pero ngayon pong hapon, I think, meron din po tayong ganyan sa puso't isipan natin. We have these excuses that we need to surrender to God right now, right here, in His, uh, in His time, as I preach to you the Word of God. Maybe some of us, tayo, nandito tayo ngayon, we have this mindset na hindi ako para sa gawain ng Panginoon. Hindi ako para dyan. Hindi para ako kumanta. Hindi ako para mag-involve sa media. We have a lot of ministries to be involved with. Pero ikaw naman itong ang daming excuse sa buhay mo. Ang dami mong dahilan. Ang dami mo hindi ka maubusan ng dahilan. Kesyo mainit. Ayoko mag-church. Kesyo umulan. Ayoko mag-church. Marami tayong dahilan, excuses sa ating buhay. Pero uh, the, the, the question is this. How long, how far that excuse will bring you? Hanggang saan, hanggang layo ka magdadahilan para hindi gamitin ang Panginoon? There's always a end sign that is death. At pagka nangyari yun, aharap tayo sa Panginoon. And God will ask us, anong ginawa mo para sa akin? Ngayon pong hapon na ito, I hope you're listening. Some of you are... You, you, you. nakikita ko po, ayoko po kasi na kayo paantok-antok sa, sa, sa pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. I want you to listen very carefully. Mabilis lang po ako. Hindi po ako magtatagal. Pagbigay nyo na po ako. Ano? Excuses that we need to surrender to God. This afternoon, what are those excuses you have in your hearts and mind? Not to be involved in the choir, not to be involved in our media, not to be involved in our receptionist, and so and so forth, our ministries here. Ano yung dahilan mo para hindi ka magamit ang pangin? Surrender it to God. Moses, surrender it to God by the, by the grace of God. Ngayon pong hapon na ito, uh, sino po ba yung nakatayo sa inyo pong harapan? Ako po ay wala rin naman po. Nung ako po ay dumating sa gawain ng Panginoon, wala naman po kung alam, to be honest, mahiyain po ako eh. Oo, hindi lang po halata ngayon. Kasi may kakapala na ako ng mukha ngayon. Kaya sabi nung isang preacher, habang tumatagal, kakapala ang mukha mo sa ministry. Ngayon, nauunawaan ko na po. No? But, ito po yung gusto kong sabihin po sa inyo. Sino po ba ako? I also has this background issue. Hindi naman ako galing sa prominenting pamilya. Yung mga sauselo po, ayan po ay mga bisaya. Yung tatay ko po, nanay ko, nag-migrate lang po dito sa katalag- Tagalugan. I wish they are here. At sasap- marinig nila po ito. Uh, mahirap lang po kami, hindi po kami maranyang pamilya to be qualified in this great work that God has, that we have here. Pero sa biyaya po ng Panginoon, tinawag ako ng Diyos sa ministry. Wala naman po. I have also disability issue. Wala po kung kayang gawin. At first in church, natuto na lang po ako. Kaya I remember, a preacher once said, sabi niya, 
God doesn't call the qualified. He qualified the call. I think Dr. Jack has said that. Hindi niya tinawag yung mauhusay. Hindi niya tinawag yung magagaling. Ang tinatawag niya ay yung may tamang puso para maging kagamit-gamit sa gawain ng Diyos. Ang galing-galing mo nga. Pero anong ginagawa mo sa gawain ng Diyos? Marunong ka nga sa ganito, marunong ka nga sa ganyan. Pero how about God's ministry? Anong ginagawa mo? Ang tagal nyo na po, some of you, you are still just sitting there and just wandering around. Pwede kang gamitin na Diyos! Again, pwede kang gamitin na Diyos! My goodness! Nung ako po yung bunong umatin sa church, wala naman po kung kakayanan. I cannot shout like this. Pero salamat po. The more you be in, in the ministry, tuturuan ka ng Diyos. Basta magpakumbaba ka lang at sumunod. Malaki ang, hindi ko malilimutan yung sinabi niyo po sa akin, Pastor. Yung time na nagkukwit na yung iba at ayaw na sa gawain ng Panginoon. Sabi, niyo sa, sabi po ni Pastor sa akin, Pao, tinan mo yung mga yan. Kung ikaw, magpapasakop lang and you stay humble, your character, malayo ang mararating mo. Although, wala pa rin naman tayong narating, pero biyaya po ng Diyos, ginagamit tayo sa gawain ng Diyos. Um, kasi po, nung bata ko, pag umiyak po talaga ako, hindi na, tuloy-tuloy na eh. Tapos narinig ko pa yung istorya ni Ma'am G, yung istorya ni, uh, my goodness, pasensya na po ha. Pero, You know, marami tayong excuse kasi yung, Lord, ako ba? Bata pa ako. Pwede muna patapusin niya muna ako. Pwede bang, uh, I want to aim this first before I, I be used in your ministry. Marami tayong excuse. Marami tayong dahilan sa Panginoon para hindi niya magamit. Pero again, listen up! Hanggang kailan ka magdadahilan ha, para hindi ka magamit sa gawain ng Panginoon? Pagpatay ka na? Pagka mahina ka na? Pagka wala na yung, 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 uh, yung kakayanan mo na ang lakas-lakas mo? Ako, I will never regret to be in the ministry when I was 14, mag-15, and be used in the ministry. Hindi ko po pinagsisihan hanggang ngayon. Nagpapasalamat ako at isang araw ipapatutuo ko na in the young age, nagamit yung aking katawan, yung aking kalakasan, yung aking buhay para sa gawain ng Panginoon. I remember, pambira, sabi ko, nung pumasok ako sa gawain ng Panginoon, akala ko Bible, Bible lang. Hindi ko po alam yung mga bagay na ganito, ganyan. Hindi ko din ini-imagine na isang araw magko-construction kami. Hindi ko malimutan po, kaya, po kasi yan kasi yung iba po sa inyo, you enjoy the result of these things. Pero kami po nung no, nag, uh, nag-start, I remember kahit doon po sa Kalamba, coming here, 2013, hindi na po natapos. I think hanggang 20, 2019, 2018, hindi natapos yung pag-construction po namin. Noon po wala pa pong labor, kami lang ang mga labor. Kami, tiles po to dati, um, nakatiles po na white, parang yung sa CR. Uh, pinabakbak po ni Pastor Yan para gawing carpet. Kami po nagbakbak eh. Ginakhammer po namin. Ito, uh, lahat po, tiniktik. Kami po ang ginamit, yung sa baba po, sa ground floor, yan po lahat ay binasag. Kami po ang ginamit ng Panginoon sa bihaya ng Diyos. Uh, kaya po sa amin dati, yung akin, pag-express pag, pag ko doon sa CHBC, hindi Carpenters House Baptist Church. Carpenters House Baptist Construction. Kasi akala ko hindi na matatapos yung construction eh. Oh, yun po yung setting. Pero ako, sumunod lang po ako. At alam niyo po, sa pagsunod ko, natuto po ako mag-construction. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, nung simula noong January, ni-start na po natin, i-renovate yung ano. Sabi ko kay pastor, ang kailangan ko lang po ay gamit at saka pagmamahal. Hindi, uh, gamit lang po at uh, uh, materyales. Katukatulong si Sean, 
minsan si Sean pupunta doon late na. Okay lang sabi ko. Naunawaan kita kung uh, minsan may ginag- nagbabasketball ka pa o may ginagawa ka pang iba. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, natulong sa akin doon si Sir Andre, pumunt- pumunta rin. Unti-unti, unti-unti, hanggang natapos namin yung room namin para doon at saka yung magiging office po sa outreach po doon. And again, we are working out. Natapos na rin po namin yung kitchen. We are working doon po sa, uh, sa, sa multi-purpose at doon sa taas. Right now, at biyaya po na, natuto ako kasi tumulong-tulong po ako dito. Sumunod po ako. At hindi ko magigain yung ganung mga skills kundi ako nagpag, nag, 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 nagkaroon ng desisyon sa aking isipan na magpagamit sa Panginoon. Minsan marami tayong excuse sa ating mga sarili. Pero again, how long that those excuses will bring you? Hanggang saan? Hanggang kailan? Maybe God is calling you to be in the ministry and then you are just refusing it to be in the ministry. Ang nakakalungkot pa nito, yung iba gusto naman nasa gawain ng Panginoon pero ang nagbibigay sa kanila na wag na maging dito ay yung kanilang mga magulang. Wag naman po sana. Amen? Wag naman po sana. It's a privilege kung meron kayong anak na tinawag sa gawain ng Panginoon. Alam niyo yung magulang ko? Uh, dati po, talaga, yung mama ko, ayaw niya talaga na nandito ako sa gawain ng Panginoon. Alam niya ni Pastor, pinaalam ako ni uh, Sir Al Prince noon, siya pa yung leader namin doon sa full-time eh. Ngayon, nag-backslide na. Um, hindi, uh, nag pa rin naman po siya, nakikipag-connect pa rin naman po sa akin. Uh, pinaalam ko, ayaw talaga ni mama ko. Ang ginawa ko po, unti-unti kundi nala yung gamit ko sa church. Ang sabi ko lang, dahil lang ko, ma, meron kaming camp. camp. Itataka na yung mama ko. Yung camp nyo, tumatagal ng isang buwan. Ah. Na hindi niya alam, inunti-undi ko na lahat, na nabulagaan na lang siya, wala na akong gamit dun. At sumulat na lang ako, ma, hindi na ako uwi. I surrender my life to the Lord. I wish, sabi ko doon sa kapatid ko, nagpadal, pinadalahan ko ng sulat na yon. Sana na itago yun. Pero sabi ng mama ko, pinunit niya daw sa sobrang galit niya para maging testify ngayon pong hapon. But again, uh, ngayon po, they are so uh, so proud of me being here in the ministry. At uh, sabi niya, uh, kasi po maraming beses na akong nag, nag-preach dun sa amin. Ay, sabi ko, wala akong pananagutan sa Panginoon with my family. Aharap ako sa Panginoon, malinis ang aking conscience. Uh, Nakapag-Bible study, a couple times na po. At na-infact na rin po sila. I was praying, I was praying lang po yan. Then God answered my prayer. Yung, yung uh, ate ko, talagang sagrado. Yung sinasabi ni Ma'am G sa kanila. Pero alam nyo, nung nagpa-dedicate po yan ng bahay, yung isa ko pong ate yun ha, kasi marami po akong ate. Yung uh, tatay-nanay ko po, nag Family planning po yan. Kaya po, sampu kami magkakapatid. Limang lalaki, limang babae. Punso po akong lalaki. Kaya ako yung pinaka-cute sa amin. Um, yung isa ko pong ate, nagkaroon na siya ng bahay. And ako yung tinawag niya para mag-dedicate nung bahay po niya. Sinabi ko kayo, kay pastor. And also, yung ate ko rin po, may anak. During pandemic time, uh, gusto nilang ipabinyag. Pero sabi nung ate kong panganay na nasa abroad, ipadedicate nyo yan sa Panginoon. And then, pinadedicate nila sa Panginoon instead ng binyag. At uh, ako'y nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Bagamat, hindi ko man sila makasama, pero I already impacted their lives. They're all set. Yung isa ko pong, yung asawa ng kuya ko, ang tawag po doon, basta asawa ng kuya, uh, sister-in-law, ay last time, nag-attend dito at nung kinausap niya ako, nung umattend kami dyan, may nag-share sa akin ng Bible. At nung sinesher niya ako ng Bible, tinanggap ko ang Panginoon sa puso ko. At sabi niya, kailan yung church nyo? Kailan yung, kailan yung Bible study nyo doon sa Kalamba? We will attend. At dapat kasama rin po sana natin dito. But iba yung direction ng Panginoon. But yun, there's no, there should no, be no excuse in serving the Lord. Amen? Amen. Alam niyo po, it's easy to make excuses. Madali lang po yung sabihin mo, sisimba ka, ay sumakit yung pa ako, inatake. 
Hello? Pwede mong gawin yun eh. Sumakit yung batok ko. Dali nyo ako sa emergency. Na pag-uwi, pag hindi naman nagpadala sa emergency, nanood lang ng TV sa bahay. No? Pwede natin gawin po yun eh. Pero ang Diyos ang nakakaalam ng lahat. How long? You will make excuses rather to, not, rather to be here and be His of God. To be involved in the ministry. Remember, God has a plan for you when the time you get saved. His plan is not for you to be there and sit down there and be a bench warmer. God wants you to be involved in the ministry of God. You young people today, hindi habang panahon bata kayo. Hindi habang panahon malakas ka. Darating yung point na mangihina ka at sasabihin mo, parang di ko na tayong tumakbo sa basketball ah. Naalala ko po nung nagbalik, nagbalik loob kami sa basketball, pambihira nung before, kahit ilang takbuhan yan. Kasi ang laro ko po talaga, point guard position po ako, ta- ako po talaga yung tumatakbo. Pero nung naglaro kami, pambihira, sabi ko, hindi ko na-experience to sa buhay ko. Talagang totoo yung uh, pagtanda na sinasabi ng Biblia. Oo. Although, uh, hindi pa naman po ako mukhang matanda, pero ang sinasabi ko, yung epekto po, hindi na ganun kalakas uh, in compare 10 years ago. Amen? Kaya bulubos-lubosin nyo. You young people, take the advantage to be used of God. Wala ka ng magandang testimonya ang ihahayag isang araw kung hindi. Yung testimonya, alam nyo ba? Alam nyo ba? Ginamit ako ng Diyos. Excuses we need to surrender. Number two, example we need to strive. Moses set an example na even though he has this ability issue, he has this background issue, he has a lot of issues in the life, pero ginamit pa rin siya dakila ng Panginoon. How about you tonight? Ano yung excuse mo na uh, he gets an excuse si Moses? I think wala po. Lahat tayo may excuses, lahat tayo pwedeng may limitations sa ating mga sarili. But let me tell you this, God can still use you. Kaya ka pa rin gamitin ng Diyos. Kahit nga po yung mga disabled, kaya ang gamitin ng Panginoon. Naalala ko po dyan sa Bible school, nung pumasok po ko dyan sa San Pedro, may kaklase po ako doon, babae. Ang room po namin sa taa, hindi, um, yeah, nung nag fourth year po ako, fourth floor na kami, yung nagkaklase po, ay, I think kilala ni Ma'am Mil kayo. Gan, ayun yung vibe ko. Ganto po yung paa. Ganto. Ang tawag po, ganyan. Pag nakikita ko po siya, nakangiti pa po, pumapasok lagi. At ito yung nakakamangha. Pagka i-announce na kung sino yung best show winner of the week, hindi naman siya lagi, pero most of the time siya yung tinatawag na best show winner sa babae. Nakakaya para sa akin yun. Pero yung ganyan po yung pa kayang gamitin ng Panginoon. Eh ikaw ngayon, kompleto ka naman. Hibuin nyo, may ilong po kayo? Although yung iba talaga, well, parang walang buto. Pero uh, meron naman, di ba? May mata po kayo. May bibig po kayo. May pa kayo, ipadyak nyo. May kamay kayo. Then, bakit hindi kayo nagagamit sa gawain ng Diyos? You should be in the ministry and be used of God. There should be no excuses. Like Moses, he has set the example to strive to be used of God. I don't know about you, but in spite of those things, issues in his life, God used him greatly. In fact, sabi ng mga theologians, sa typology po, kung nag-aaral po kayo noon, Uh, klase ba? Tipo. He was, he, he is just, he, he was a type of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. Israelites is a type of Christianity. And Egypt that time is a type of a world. Satan is a type of, uh, Pharaoh is a type of the devil, Satan. 
at mahihambing ka sa tagapagligtas. Ganong kataas na attainment po iyon. Simply because nagpagamit siya sa Panginoon. Wala namang katanggap-tanggap po sa atin. Wala namang pong kaibig-ibig sa atin. Pero one thing na maganda sa gawain ng Panginoon pag nagpagamit ka sa Kanya, ay marirecognize yung, yung katauhan bilang ginamit ka ng Panginoon at itataas ka ng Diyos. Lastly, ngayon pong hapon na ito, and I'm done. Not only excuses, example, but also execution we need to show. When I say execution, it means deliver, to deliver, to perform, to act on it, to accomplish, to accomplish it. We need to execute Moses. Not, he, uh, nung time na tinawag siya ng Panginoon, he's, yes, he made excuses, but uh, he became an example. Then also, dun sa pag, halimbawa na isinet po niya, he executed some things. That is why he performed and uh, he was recognized by God na itong taong ito'y dakila sa biyaya ng Diyos. How many of us ngayon pong umaga, hapon na ito ang kayang gawin yung mga bagay na hindi pa nagagawa ng iba base sa biyaya ng Panginoon sa atin. Again, sa, pagka sinabi ko pong execute, you should do something. We should perform something. We should accomplish something in this Christian life. If God wants you, if, 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 if God is wanting you to be used in the ministry, I say, um, na, nice ng Diyos sa gamitin ka, sa gawain niya talaga, uh, sa ministry na pinagkatiwala niya para sa iyo. Again, bukas ang pinto, save ka. Then, the, the purpose of it is for you to, be, to serve the Lord. And to serve the Lord, you have to execute things, you have to labor, you have to sacrifice for Him. I hope you are getting my point. And uh, matatapos sa rin po ako. Just um, 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 manatili po tayo na, na sum- sumubaybay sa bagay na ito. My point here is that you should execute some things if you want to be used of God greatly in your life. Hindi tayo maghihintay lamang. Hindi tayo uh, 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 mag-aabang lamang. Dapat tayo mismo ang aapak mag step up and to be involved in the ministry that God is calling us. Amen. I hope you're listening ngayon pong gabing ito. Tapos, tapos na rin po ako. Tulungan niyo po ako. Amen? Amen? I hope you're getting my point. You have to execute things in your life Amen. and to be used greatly in the ministry na pinagkatiwala ng Diyos para sa atin. Sa mupas, kaya walang nangyayari sa ating buhay kasi hindi natin sinusumbukan magamit ng Panginoon dakila sa ministry. Magpo-post lang po ako, tapos na rin po ako, pagpasensahan nyo na. Masarap daw po magsalita pag nakainom eh. <clears throat> Again, execution we need to show, we have to execute, execute things. The thing that pastor is saying, yung pagiging intentional, that's it. Dapat maging intentional tayo sa ating ginagawa sa Panginoon. Dapat tayo mismo ang maglalagay sa posisyon natin na ipupush natin yung ating sarili to be used of God and the ministry. Hindi yung paupo-upo lang tayo at hihintayin ka pang, hinihintay ko kasi yung bulong sa akin ng Panginoon. Hindi bulong ng Panginoon ang mangyayari sa bulong ng Diablo. Huwag ka na mag-involve dyan. Nakakapagod dyan. Pero yung magpa-practice ka ng choir. Punta ka dito ng Sabado. I-record ka mag-show winning. Sa district, huwag ka na mag-nakakapagod dyan. Ano po? We have to execute things in your life. Nung ako po'y naglingkod sa Panginoon, nais kong sabihin po sa inyo na... Uh, yung, yung sacrifice at labor namin nung naon na sabi ko nga po ngayon napakaluan ng gawain ng Diyos Amen, amen. We should shout amen for that amen. Kasi po nung naglingkod ako sa Panginoon nagsuko ng buhay Ito po yung nababalitaan ko sa ibang churches Hindi na 
pagsusuko, pag apply na ang nangyayari. Pupunta doon sa pastor. Pastor, mag apply ako para maging full-time. Magkano po ang love gift? Aalamin ang love gift and benefits and others. Tsaka siya magpo-full-time pagka nag-agree sila doon sa bagay na yun. E nung kami po'y nagsuko ng buhay sa Panginoon, wala po kami love gift. Hindi po kami nakakatigtahid nga. Alam din si Sir Alvin, eh. nag-ihiraman kami ng sabon. <laughs> Opo, hindi ko kinakahiya yan. Kaya uh, yung skin disease niya, skin disease, disease ko na rin. Anyways, um, ganun po nangyari. Nung nandun kami sa kalamba, my goodness, tapos na, tapos na po sana ako eh. Pero naalala ko lang, nababalik, tanaw ko lang yung mga pangyayari. Gusto, meron tayong kapitbahay doon. May tanim sila na talbos ng kamote. Ewan ko kung na... na Doon sa talbos ng kamote, inaaraw-araw po namin yon, Kasi nilalagyan namin yon ng isider, ng, ng sardinas. Basta sinasabawa namin, talbos ng kamote. At doon sa talbos ng kamote, one time, paghingi namin, ay eh, yung kasama ko, bargas po yun eh. Ang lakas ng boses. E eh, natsempohan namin yung may-ari, na, may karga. Lasing. Pampira. Pagkatok pa lang na doon sa gate. Kuya, pwede, pwede pa makahingi ng ano, talbos? Sabi nung ano, lasing pa, lumabas. Nag, nagmura pa po sa amin. Hindi ko pwede sabihin dito eh. Um, <coughs> uh, sabi, Pampira kayo! Hindi na makatalbos yung talbos sa inyo! <laughs> Pero inyo po, yung talbos hindi na makatalbos sa amin. Sa so, sobrang inaraw-araw po namin. E eh, nabalitaan ko po dito. Ewan ko kung totoo yun, yung hotdog tinatapon lang dyan. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> pero yung time namin, tinitreasure namin yan. Oo. Ah, salamat sa Panginoon, naranasan namin yung mga ganyang bagay. Natutulog kami, naglalatag lang kami dun sa balcony. Um, lapat minsan, uh, karton. Oo, natutulog kami dun sa balcony, tabi-tabi kami sama-sama na rin po yung laway doon. Tabi-tabi kami. Yung iba, nag, ang tindi pa yung maka, mga lalaki lang po, mga preacher boys. Um, bira, sabi ko, remember those days? Sabi ko, salamat sa Panginoon. At one time, sobrang awa sa amin. Bisita po, Amerikano. Binilang kami ng, ano, ng hinggaan, tigisa. And salama, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon. That happened to... Alam niyo po, sa gawain ng Panginoon, it takes sacrifice, it takes labor, it takes execution without pressure in us. Hindi tayo magagamit greatly sa gawain ng Panginoon. Ano po? Uh, yung, yung kami nag-start sa gawain ng Panginoon, sabi ko, ang attitude ko lang po dati, dalawang word lang, pag pinatawag ni pastor, dalawang word lang. Wala nang iba. Alam niyo po yung dalawang word na yon, Po at o po lang. Oo. May papagawa si Pastor. Opo. Pagkapatawag ni Pastor. Opo. Opo. Po. Dalawang word lang. Good. Hindi ka pwedeng. Ay, hindi ko po kaya yan. Yeah. Ay, nahihiya po ako. Say, sir, man. Ay, mukhang hindi po ako fit para dyan. Yeah. Kasi yung mga pormahan ko, parang mga pang ano po ako eh. Yung pang, yung showy po ako eh. Yung dapat nare-recognize. Hindi po. Alala ko na naman, yung first time ko na binigay sa akin yung, yung, yung responsibility, inasign ako nung leader namin doon, doon sa tatlong CR. Tatlong CR. CR na luma, tapos yung sa men, pagka nasobrahan, hindi na po lulubog. Alam, alam nyo naman po yung sinasabi ko na po ngayon. May pagkakataon po talaga, talagang pagkapunong-punong mo na yun, bubombahin mo. Oo. And pagka binomba mo yun, hindi naman may iiwasan, may tatalsik sa'yo. At minsan, one time, tumalsik po sa akin yung banda dito malapit, nakahawak po ako, wala na po akong magagawa, ginalong ko na lang. Um, kaya po nung araw, payatin lang po kami, pero malakas po pang katawan namin kasi may vitamins po kami. Anyway, um, but let me go back. Again, we have to execute, we have to, uh, we have to accomplish things for God. If you want to be used of God greatly, dyan po, binalik po kami sa biyaya po ng Panginoon by the approval of our pastor. Uh, still, we are part of our, our church family. Ang advantage, meron lang po tayong lugar doon. 
uh, we're praying. We, me and my wife, we're praying na sabi ko, Panginoon, gamitin niyo talaga kami dito. And uh, we will work it out. Sabi ayan ng Panginoon, we will execute things. Amen. Kayo din po, bilang mga man ng palataya at niligtas ng Panginoon, God can use you. Don't you ever have this kind of motion sa inyong isip na, hindi, para sa kanila lang yan. Kasi para talaga sila dyan. Mga kapatid, niligtas tayo ng Panginoon para magamit sa kalwalatian niya. Amen. Wala na pong iba. Eh di, sana kung tayo naligtas at wala ng purpose ang Diyos sa atin, pinatay na lang tayo ng Diyos. Lagi yan sinasabi ng ating pastor. Pero salamat sa Panginoon, nandito tayo, buhay tayo. It's up to us to decide whether if we are going to serve God or to be out of the ministry. But I encourage you ngayon pong hapon na ito. God can use you. God can use you. Yun lamang po, maraming salamat. Ginagamit tayo ng ating trabaho, ginagamit tayo ng ating boss, nagpapagamit tayo sa ating skwelahan, sa negosyo, sa maraming bagay. Ang tanong, kailan ka naman ginamit ng Panginoon? You know, kailan tayo ginamit ng Panginoon? You know, it's, it's sad to know that many times sa ating buhay, yung kalakasan natin, the best of our lives, we give it to the world. And the end of our lives, we give it to God. And yet we know, mga the reason why we're able to sustain ourselves is because of God. And it's worth to note tonight, mga kapatid, and then I love this tonight, that what we say and we preach in church is something, mga kapatid, that's really in our lives. Uh, you serve the Lord now. You know why? Because you don't know tomorrow. Uh, you be faithful now. Because you don't know, mga kapatid. When God takes you home, it is sad na kinuha, kinuha ka ng Panginoon, wala ka sa gawain ng Panginoon. Yeah. Yeah. Yung pinakamahirap na Bible study sa patay, pag naimbitahan, yung namatay, wala sa Panginoon, hindi mo naman sasabihin mo eh. Yung pwede siya, nagpapasalamat ka sa buhay niya. Ano ba ginawa ito sa Panginoon? Tama, tama. Yeah. Ang hirap. Well, one of the hardest thing of ministry, mga kapatid, is gusto mo i-comfort yung mga tao sa buhay niya, pero wala ka naman masabi sa buhay niya. Uh, si sister, si brother po na ating pong pinagsasamahan ngayong gabi ay, uh, alam mo, nag-backslide to. Alam mo, hindi na bumalik sa Panginoon. Alam mo, save nga, pero wala namang ginawa sa Panginoon. Ano sabihin mo? Ang masasabi mo lang, buti na lang po, nasa langit na siya. Although, parang comfort, pero nakakalungkot niligtas ka ng Panginoon sa buong buhay mo na ikay ligtas nasa mundong ito wala kang nagawa para sa Panginoon inintay mo lang mamatay para masabi na salamat sa Panginoon nasa langit na siya you think about that tonight think about all the testimonies we've heard tonight think about what church is tonight with the presentation You think about mga kapatid, you know, talking that story and, and listening to Paolo, where we started. It's worth to be thankful ngayon pong gabing ito. Amen. Amen. God has progressed us. Amen. Uh, yung ating pong mga staff dyan, may sarili ng mga kwarto, may sariling dorm, may sariling washing machine. Kumakain. But sometimes I tell our people, God, thank God for blessings, but listen, blessings have dangers. Thank God for convenience, mga kapatid. But listen, there's danger in convenience. Yeah, boy, it's a blessing to go back where God has picked us up. It's a blessing, mga kapatid, to go back where God found us. It's a blessing to go back by how we started. To remind us why we're here. Amen. Why we're here. And ngayon, mga let me ask you before we, we, we close and go to an invitation. How many of you, mga kapatid, would say, I want to be used by God? Raise your hand. I want to be used by God. Amen. Don't just say amen. Raise your hand. I want to be used by God. Bless God. Let's ngayon, mga Let me ask you the second question. We go to the invitation. How many of you believe that God can use you? Say amen. amen. Raise your hand. Well, let me ask you the third day. What's hindering you to be used by God? What's hindering you? 
You said, I want to be by God. You said, God can use me. Now let me give you the last question to this invitation. What's hindering you? Pastor, yung trabaho ko. Pastor, yung pangarap ko. Pastor, yung convenience ko. Pastor, yung schedule ko. Pastor, yung barkada ko. Pastor, yung aking ginagawa. Pastor, listen. That's the danger and that's the irony ng Christianity. You believe God can use you and you believe you want to be used by God. But you cannot make that step and said, Panginoon, I'm going to take away the reason why you can't use me and why you can't and I cannot be able to serve you tonight. Why don't you go home tonight? Why don't you go home tonight in this, in this, in this service? He said, Panginoon, Amen. tonight, I want to be used by you because I believe you will use me. And I was going to make that decision tonight to make that step. Let's stand in our feet, head bowed, eye closed, piano playing. Father, tonight we've heard from you. You know, we've heard, we've seen what you have done in the lives of our church family members. And all those lives reflect something very important, very simple, very basic. Somebody said, Panginoon, I will be used by you. I'm going to be used by God. Went out of their way, convinced Panginoon to go out, knock on doors. Panginoon, go in times, Panginoon, that even though we have our own problems, we want to be a blessing to those who are going through hard times and problems. Panginoon, in spite of our busy schedule, we come to church getting with our burdens and Panginoon, ministering as we sing, as we play, and behind Panginoon, the smiles, behind the ministry, Panginoon, we are battling something in our lives. Because, Lord, we are here simply because we say, Panginoon, whatever happens in our life, what goes on through our life, Panginoon, we want to be used by you. And I pray tonight, the Word of God, the testimonies, the songs, the reality of that truth in the lives of our people would be a challenge, but a blessing to someone to write and Panginoon, I'm going to stop to make excuses. I'm going to stop making excuses. Panginoon, tonight, but I believe you could use me. But on I know and I want to be used. So tonight, but on I pray. Speak to those people tonight. Make those steps out of their comfort zone. Out of their boxes. Out of their Panginoon personal interest and personal desire. To say, Panginoon, it's not my desire. It's your desire tonight. And so as we go to this invitation, speak to other people. I pray. We don't go home tonight, Panginoon, not having our conscience clear, not having, Panginoon, our lives changed. We're not just challenged tonight. I pray we be changed. So bless this invitation we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Head bowed, eye closed. You need to do what you need to do tonight. If you said, Panginoon, you could use me. I want to be used. I'm going to ask you tonight. Tap out of your seat. Bend your knees. Say, Panginoon, if God could use a little girl in her testimony tonight, could use me and on if you could use someone Panginoon to go out and love souls and go through hard times and be a blessing you could use me and on if you could use Panginoon someone who has a disability to be an encouragement to be in church be at front Panginoon you could use me I'm asking you tonight what's hindering you What's hindering you tonight? But on, but they don't, don't go, go home tonight. Your company, your boss, your business partner, your school, your friends. You give them your life, the best of your life, the best of your talent, the best of your ability. And you just come on a Sunday and said, Panginoon, bless me, bless me. I hope tonight God blesses you because God knows He will use you and He could use you. You bend the knee tonight. Don't go home tonight. Make it serious tonight. Bless God for revival tonight. I know there's revival tonight. I know someone here tonight needs to hear that message. You know, and you blessed me so much with convenience, I could do more. May mga nauna, nauna tayo mga kapatid. Alam mo tayong ganito, pero ginamit tayo ng panong. Ngayon pa. Ngayon pang magandang ating building. Ngayon pang may trabaho tayong maayos. 
Ngayon pang may influence tayo, ngayon pang may binigoso tayo. Ngayon pa mga kapatid, marami tayong oportunidad, ngayon tayo hindi gagamitin ng Panginoon. Ngayon tayo mag, magiging tamad, magkakaroon ng marami excuses. Ngayon pa. Tingnan natin na saan tayo ngayon. Mula saan tayo kinuha ng Panginoon. Ang problema kasi minsan mga kapatid, yung blessing natin, natabunan na yung purpose ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Ang masakit pa doon, pang mga kapatid, yung blessing na dapat ipaglingkod sa Panginoon, yun ang nadahilan ba tayo nawala sa Panginoon. Tonight, God could use you. And if you want to be used, what's hindering you tonight? Well, I want to be usher. I want to be an usher. Listen, someone maybe every Sunday would come and see you smile. And just like the Halya family, Mr. G., Maybe their intention is not to preach, but to see you smile, be a blessing to their child, to their family. God could use you. Your time to serve, to practice choir, God could use you. Huwag niyong malitin yung ginagawa sa Panginoon, sa ating ministry, sa media, sa children's church, sa instrumentalists. Yung naandito ka lang sa simbahan, blessing ka eh. Sunday night, naandito ka, blessing ka, hindi mo lang alam. Wednesday night, naandito ka, blessing ka. Oh, mga kapatid, pag inisip mo yan, kasi nga kahit mabigat yung problema mo, nandito ka lang, ginagamit ng Panginoon, blessing ka. And I'll be honest to you tonight, there are many times I stand here in front and see you and I know some of your problems tonight and I know what you're going through in life tonight and just to be, see you in church and smile and serve. You're a blessing. God could use you. Don't go home tonight. Just always praying, Panginoon, use me, use me, use me. Stop that prayer tonight and make a step. Said, Panginoon, I will serve you. God could use you. Are you want and are you willing to be used? Take away that excuses. Start serving. And later on, sa ating church, Maybe one week, one month, one year, ten years. Somebody's gonna stand in this pulpit and said, Five years ago, Maraming salamat kay Sister Milka, kay Brother Alvin. Maraming salamat sa ministry ng Children's Church. Maraming salamat sa Asher. Ginamit kayo ng Panginoon. Ba't ako narito? Listen, that's the joy of ministry. That's the blessing of ministry to be used of God. Father, thank you for this church. Thank you for the service. We see a lot of reality in our life, in our ministry. Thank you for reminding us Thank you for the Word of God. Thank you, Panginoon, that it is worth it to know that even though many times we don't see it, we don't feel it, since, Panginoon, we are just moving to the motions, and yet, when we stay faithful, no matter what. But you know, there's a joy that never can be explained. There's a peace that passes. But you know, we know it was worth it. Lord, tonight we thank you that the Word of God is still real. The Spirit of God still moves. And Lord, the message is still the same. You've saved us to serve. You could use us. I pray tonight, our people that will go home and make a difference in the places, in the districts we are in. I pray tonight, our ministries would look at our own ministry and said, Panginoon, we want to be faithful in this ministry. Whether it be at the kids' city, 
whether it be at the ushering, whether it be in the music, whether it be in the education ministry, our school, our growth points, our media, whether it be in our preaching, Panginoon, in our private lives, I pray we be faithful. I pray, Panginoon, we would always remember we have a Savior we serve. There's a people that needs to be pointed to Jesus Christ. And in spite of us, and despite of us, I pray tonight, may we go home once again focused, determined, committed to say, Panginoon, use me. Help me. Give me grace each day to use everything you've given me in this one lifetime with my few resources for eternal purposes. And so we ask tonight, in Jesus' name we pray. Well, amen. Let's sing together tonight. And when churches sing together, precious Lord. Amen, church. Sing together on a first now. Precious Lord, take my hand. God we're offering if you're blessed thankful say amen clap your hands I'm glad we have a church I'm glad we have the Savior I've God we have the Word of God and I'm glad that God gives us grace gives us work give us a strength give us this opportunity gives us wisdom because we want to honor him tonight he is faithful and we need to be faithful tonight father we thank you and we could worship you freely you know, we could worship you with our families. Lord, we could be able to encourage our fathers to stay faithful. You know, to stay godly and with integrity. Lord, thank you to remind us tonight with the testimonies we've heard. 
Panginoon, the soul winning is the main thing. The gospel is what people need. Panginoon, we want to be used. I pray as you bless our church with our members, their business, their work, their positions, their opportunities. Panginoon, there's a purpose. I pray we will never forget the purpose. You want to use us to see people saved. Lives changed. Families built. The gospel preached. And our people faithfully serving. And Lord, with our hearts, with our hands, may it reflect your purpose in our lives. So bless this offering tonight. We ask in Jesus' name we pray. Well, amen. Let's give together tonight. Amen. Let's give together and let's sing. I have been blessed. Sing together, church. When he moves among us, all that he does, all of his mercy, all of his love, in the pen of a writer, we write every day, even this world. In the winter, flowers in spring, laughter last summer, the changing of leaves, food on my table, a good place to sleep, books on my back, and shoes on my feet, I have been blessed. Sing a song. I have been blessed. Precious are his thoughts of you and me. No way could I count them. There's not enough time. So I'll just thank him for being so kind. God has been good. So good. I have been blessed. Amen. Arms that will Voice that can talk, hands that can touch, legs that can walk, ears that can listen, eyes that can see. I've got to praise Him as long as I breathe. I have been blessed. Amen. Father and mother, we nurtured and raised. Brothers and sisters, memories made. Our pastor to lead us, his altar to pray. Stripes that can heal, the blood that still saves. I have been blessed. Praise the Lord, sing together the chorus now. I have been blessed, God's so good to me. Precious are his arms of you. He's my shoulder to lean on when I am down. He's our rock. The rock where he leads me when I'm overwhelmed. The, Lord. the place where he hides me under his wings. Let's sing, he's not just, he's a, not song. just a song. Amen. He's the reason, he's the reason I sing. I have been led. So good to me, praise God. Precious are His thoughts of you and me. No way could I count them. There's not enough time. So I'll just thank Him for being so kind. God has been good. 
of you you're thankful you're in church the whole day say amen. amen and i am if you're a father tonight and you are not here this morning hey go to the baptist cafe there's a special drink for you for father's day and there's still some souvenirs look uh, for brother lito tabugan we're gonna give you that special pen off for our father's day and go to our baptist cafe we thank god tonight i wish we don't go home but we're gonna go back mga patid, to our work I hope you're encouraged. I hope you stay faithful. Let's go out win souls. Somebody like a Halia family is waiting for you. Somebody, mga pwede, just a, a Paulo Sasuelo is waiting for you. Somebody, mga pwede, in your work, in your influence is waiting for you to bring the gospel. Let's be faithful tonight. Don't miss Wednesday night. Be here. Let's come together power with power and that's prayer. And let's just bring our burdens, our ministers to the Lord. Father, you bless us so much that words will never suffice tonight to see what you're doing in the lives of our church family. Panon, thank you for loving us. Thank you for using us in spite of us. Thank you, Panon, for the lives and the testimonies we've seen tonight. Thank you for this church that loves you and honors you. I pray we continue, Panon, not to miss the purpose why we're here. To see souls saved, lives changed, families built, the gospel preached, and our people serving faithfully. May we go home tonight with your goodness, your grace, a blessing, a renewed spirit committed to be used of you. Bring us back this coming Wednesday night as we bend our knees and Lord, bring to you our ministries, our homes, our families, our work. We love you. We thank you tonight. Dismiss us with your love, your grace, your protection, your blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. All of you will say, well, amen. God bless you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you for being with CHBC. You go home and be a blessing tonight. You're dismissed. My healer, my helper, my Savior who died.